Hey guys, this is Rahul and you welcome to gomahamaya.com and in this tutorial we will learn how to disable this editor option that file editing inside a WordPress website. This is most dangerous part of a WordPress website. If you click on that, you can access all the code file of your website and this should be disabled and if you want to make any changes inside your theme, you should access it via FTP or via cPanel. Because if the hackers one, they are able to enter inside the WP admin, they can make changes inside the WP admin and you'll be like completely gone. For this, log into cPanel now. And now, once you are inside the cPanel, you have to scroll down and you have to find files. Click on Files Manager, and now here you'll find various sets of options. If you have only one domain, it will be inside public underscore HTML. If you have multiple domains like add-ons domain, it will be like outside your public underscore HTML. So which says uh, your website name. My website is inside public underscore HTML. So I'll click on that. And now once you are inside your public underscore HTML folder or your website folder, you'll find a lot of files, but you need to scroll down and you need to select WP config file. Make sure you are in the same parallel line with WP admin, WP contain, WP includes and in this folder itself you'll find WP config file. The two types of files number one WP config.sample.php and second one WP config.php. So you have to select WP config.php and now click on edit and click on edit again. And once you're inside this WP config.php, make sure you're not making any changes inside this or else you might be breaking your website so you scroll down and before that's all editing you give some enter here and paste this code this code you'll find in the description box which says disallow file editing and click on save changes and now go back to your website and refresh it and you'll find this you are not allowed to access this file no one is allowed to access the file that team editor or php but you can access wp admin and you can do whatever you want only the thing is that you will not find any editor in this section still if you want to add custom css click on customize and go ahead make some changes whatever you want i hope you find this video useful if you have any question okay let me know in the comment section if you haven't clicked subscribe click on subscribe button for the more further updates thank you